Assalamualaikum and good morning girls. How are you? I hope everyone is healthy and happy during this MCO. Okay, so at the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify type and function of animal cell and conceptualize formation of an animal with reference to the sequence of cell organization. Our topic today is various types of human cell, tissue, organs, and systems. Uh, a few uh, examples of types of uh, human cell. So we have red blood cell, reproductive cell, epithelium cell, bone cell, nerve cell, muscle cell, and white blood cell. What is this? This is red blood cell. It has no nucleus with this shape. Contain hemoglobin and the function it to, is to transport oxygen and carbon dioxide. This blood tissue. White blood cell. It has nucleus with uh, the shape can be changed and uh, the function to kill microorganism okay, so this is blood circulatory system the function is to carry oxygen nutrient and hormones to all parts of the body and the main organ involved are heart and blood vessel this is Muscle cell to contract and relax muscles to enable movement. Muscle tissue, a muscular system, and this is muscle tissue to enable the movement of body and inner organs. This is nerve cell. It contains long fibers, carry information in the form of impulse. It's nerve tissue, nervous system to carry message in the form of electrical impulses. The organ involved are brain and nerves. Okay, this is bone cell. Tissue. They form skeletal system to support the body and protect the inner organs such as lungs and heart. So we have here skull and other bones. Male reproductive cell. It carry male genetic materials. Female reproductive cell, it carry female genetic materials. And the reproductive cell involved in reproductive system. The function is to produce sperms and ovum to produce offspring. The organ involved are uterus, ovaries, vagina, penis and testes. What system is this? This is digestive system to break down complex food into simpler form. The organ involved a mouth, esophagus, stomach, liver, large intestine and small intestine. This respiratory system. To absorb oxygen and releases carbon dioxide from body. The organ involved are nose, lung, larynx and windpipe. This integumentary system. To protect the body from dehydration and regulates body temperature. The organ involved is skin. This excretory system. To remove excretory waste from body, so organ involved are kidney, skin, lungs. 
is lymphatic system to drain lymphatic fluid into blood vessels to protect the body from infections of bacteria, virus and others. One is endocrine system produces hormones required to coordinate reactions in the body. So we have a few types of endocrine gland. We have pituitary gland, thyroid gland, pancreas gland, adrenal gland, ovary gland, and testis gland. Okay, this is cell organization. Start from cell, then tissue, organ, system, and organism. So cell, uh, almost all cells has specific function. Cell with the same function combined to form a tissue. Different tissue that work together to perform specific function form an organ. And a few organs with related functions form a system. All the systems work together to support an organism. Here is the example of cell organization. Start with cell. So we have here epithelium cell. Okay, cell with the same function combined to form a tissue. So we have epithelial tissue. Different tissue that work together to perform specific function form an organ. So the organ here is a stomach. A few organ with related function form a system. And the system here is digestive system. And all the systems work together to support an organism. For example, the mouse here. That's all. I hope everyone will stay at home safely. Okay, until end of MCO. That's all. Thank you. Bye, girls.